I've been diving into iPadOS 26 beta on my iPad mini, and as always, I'm excited to see what new tweaks Apple has included for its productivity apps. In particular, Apple has announced a new functionality to Apple Notes and a few new reminder features that promise to save you time and effort. Today, I'll walk through the highlights and give you a sense of how they work and why they matter. Let's break down each new piece. Reminders in iOS 26 comes with four major upgrades. We have a new quick reminder control, which is a fast entry shortcut for adding tasks. We have AI power suggestions, which is Apple intelligence suggesting tasks based on emails, articles, or any other text. We have auto categorization where related tasks get grouped together into handy sections automatically. And we now have time zone support, which allows you to schedule reminders tied to a specific time zone. Let's unpack these features one by one. There's now a quick reminder control, similar to the quick note feature, but for tasks. You can add it to your control center and with a single tap, instantly jot down a new reminder without opening the full app. On iPhone, I imagine you'll be able to tie this control to the action button for an even faster way to trigger it. But what I'd really love to see in a future beta is the ability to link this quick reminder to a corner gesture on the iPad. As it stands, iPadOS only lets you assign two actions to the bottom corners, either taking a screenshot or launching QuickNote. Expanding that to include quick reminders would make those gestures even more useful for daily productivity. In any case, I am happy to see this new way to quickly add tasks to the Reminders app. The big news is that reminders can now think for you. Apple's preview notes that with Apple intelligence, reminders can suggest tasks, grocery items, and follow-ups based on emails or other text on your device. In practice, that means if you're reading an email or a web page and you spot something to remember, you can share it to reminders and the app will automatically pull out action items for you. For example, let's say I receive an email that I want to create follow-up tasks from. I can simply highlight the relevant part of the email, tap share, and select reminders. The add new reminder screen pops up and right away I see that a reminder has been created using the text I highlighted, plus there's a direct link to the original email which is super convenient. If I scroll down a bit further, I'll also see a section powered by Apple Intelligence. Here, the system is suggesting additional tasks based on the content of the email. I can choose to include all these suggested tasks or just pick the ones that make sense for me. Once I've made my selections, I tap add and everything gets sent straight to the Reminders app. One extra thing I like to do afterward is jump into the Reminders app and tidy things up a bit. I take those suggested tasks and drag them under the main reminder as subtasks. That way, all the follow-up items from that email are neatly grouped together and I can see at a glance what needs to be done. On top of smart suggestions, Reminders can now auto-sort your tasks. Apple says it will automatically categorize related reminders into sections within a list. In other words, instead of one long jumble of tasks, your list can break themselves into groups. Here in my inbox list, I can see the reminder I just created along with its subtasks, all nicely grouped together. I also see other reminders for different areas of my life, like errands, work, tasks, and personal to-dos. To organize everything automatically, I just tap the three dots at the top and select auto categorize. From there, Apple Intelligence takes over and sorts all my reminders into relevant sections within the inbox, making the list much easier to scan and manage at a glance. Apple has now added time zone support to reminders, allowing you to set a due time tied to a specific location's time zone. For example, if you're scheduling a 9 a.m. Tokyo conference call, simply choose the date and time, then select Tokyo time as the zone. Reminders will trigger at 9 a.m. Tokyo, even if you're sitting in California or traveling elsewhere and your device's clock updates to a different time zone. It removes the mental math and gives you confidence that you'll get your alerts at the right moment, no matter where you are. So to recap, reminders, you can quickly add tasks with a special control and rely on Apple intelligence to fill and organize them. It's Apple's push to cut down the friction of creating and managing reminders. By the way, if you're finding this overview helpful so far, please hit that like button. It really helps out the channel and lets me know you want more deep dives just like this one. Now let's shift to Apple Notes, which also got some cool updates in iOS 26. We'll start looking at Markdown import and export support, 
which allows you to save notes as Markdown files or import them into Apple Notes. We also get phone call recording and transcripts, which is not really a notes application functionality, but it's kind of tied to it as you are now able to record phone conversations directly to notes. Let's look at each of these individually. Finally, notes now supports importing and exporting notes in markdown format. This, this means if you've written a note with formatting, headers, bullets, links, etc., you can export it as a clean markdown file and open it in any markdown friendly app. This is great for writers or coders who like Markdown or want to move content between apps. Previously, exporting from Notes was limited to only PDF, but now you can include Markdown in your workflow for effortless archiving or editing in other applications. In this example, I have a note containing formatted text, a bulleted list, a PDF attachment, and an image, and let me walk you through exporting it. If I hit the Share button and then select Export as Markdown, save it to my device, and voila, a folder is created especially for that note. Inside that folder, you'll find a markdown file with your notes text and formatting, and an attachment subfolder containing the image, PDF, and any other media relevant to my note. This structure keeps everything neatly organized and ready for use in markdown-friendly tools, a simple, elegant upgrade that power users will definitely appreciate. One of the most surprising features in iOS 26 is the ability to record phone calls directly from the phone app and have them automatically saved to notes with a full transcript. Imagine discussing a project or capturing important instructions and having your notes application store every word without you needing to take manual notes. Let's try it out. I'll start a call from my iPad, then tap record call. Once I end the call, the recording and transcript show up in notes. From there, I can use Apple Intelligence to summarize it, extract key action items, or share the transcription as needed. In summary, this new OS 26 brings some neat productivity boosts for reminders and notes. Reminders now work smarter with on-device AI, as it can extract to-dos from what you see and keep your lists organized by category. Notes, meanwhile, becomes more versatile with markdown compatibility and a built-in call recorder. No single feature is earth-shattering on its own, but together they shave off little bits of hassle, and when you add them up, they make these apps more powerful for our daily tasks. Which feature are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.